Happy New Year, guys. Uh, it's finally 2021, and we made it, guys. And I'm just excited and really pleased that we got we got past 2020. It was quite a difficult year, and a lot of things happened during the year. And we're gonna dive right into what happened last year. And I'm gonna let y'all guys know why my channel uh, really been suffering. Uh, I'm gonna be, do real better now. This is 2021, and I, I made it my New Year's New Year's resolution to to bring y'all content. Mainly, not mainly, but I want to do it every day. I want I want y'all to dive into what I'm doing and trying to achieve going forward. Uh, this year is very exciting. We're gonna have the 2021 Olympic game, which is supposedly be the 2020 Olympic game, but you know what happened last year due to uh, the pandemic, uh, a lot, a lot has been going on from um, early uh, October up until now, and it, it's it's good, it's good and it's bad and it's sad. So let me just get right into some of the stuff that were affecting my channel. Okay, so we get we get start we get start uh, going back in October. Well, October. I just want you guys to know that well I I got sponsored. Yeah, everyone knew that I got sponsored by Royal Bank, and it was it was really uh, a good opportunity to, to be with a um, a corporate sponsor, and so they, I mean they helped me uh, a lot. But before then, I was uh, really struggling financially, and the things uh, between and training and and getting stuff to help me my training, yeah, they were suffering also. But we moved past that. And yeah, RBC has been a great help, and the sponsorship they brought they brought on board is really assisting me going forward. Also, also uh, I, I I reached out to the many the the federations, uh, the Beatrice, the IOC, um, not the IOC, the the BOC, because the IOC is the International Olympic uh, Committee, BOC is the Bahamas. So I, I reached out to them and you know I asked them for sponsorship for them because I could be honest, uh, RBC is helping me out, but uh, it could go so far. I I, I did need a additional additional uh, assistance, and I I went and I I emailed and I talked and I dialogued and I you know reached out to the 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 people who who may help. You know I got some positive feedback, but you know you know how it is. It's it's quite difficult right now. So what I, I I'll say everything is looking okay now as far as training. Um, okay, let, let's talk about what I'm gonna do going forward. Then we go back because I have some some kind of a sad news, uh, and we'll get to that. So February second, hopefully uh, the Lego City Marathon will take place. Uh, it's a big city marathon. Maybe I'll have a little clip to to show you all. Uh, how the city marathon looks and for people who don't know it's in Nigeria and it's on February 13 2021 and it's it's fairly uh it's fairly big it's it's a civil labor race uh, from the IAAF and it, they run pretty good times there I don't know the humidity I don't know how the cost is uh, but we're gonna see we, we're, we've been training well we had no uh, type of injury uh, the only thing I can say now my body went into shock. Why? I went and did uh, 37 K, uh, 37 kilometers, uh, just two weeks ago. And what happened is, I think I shocked my body. I don't know. I, I really think I shocked my body. Let's let's tell the story. You want to hear the story? This is how it goes. So I wanted to go to sleep early. Normally, I go to sleep early when I go do morning runs, and especially that long. But unfortunately, that morning run, hmm, it was, it was, it was in, I didn't get to bed on time, sorry. I say it was in, I did not get to bed on time. And I ended up waking up 11 o'clock and I wanted to continue to do the run. I, I should have known better, you know. But I look at Kenya and I look at the Bahamas and I look at the weather, climate, humidity and everything. I say, well... The Bahamas is, a, is, is really hot and humid. So I could take on Kenya weather because it's always cool. Mostly cold, but it was cool that day. 
And I say, you know what? Let me get the bike guy. My bike guy named Ronald. I, I always get him to take me on the long runs. He give me water and what's not. And that that day I, I went out and I was doing good. For the first 20 kilometers, I he, he did everything he needed to do. Give me water. Give me energy drink. Give me, you know, the, the gel. Because he was going on a 40k. But somewhere around 25 kilometers, the sun just came out beaming beaming you know so i was like oh okay so i probably could take this because normally i don't we don't get hot weather uh, as bad as the bahamas and even when the weather gets hot in kenya it's still good but as soon as we hit the uh, like 27 and beyond i was i, I noticed i started taking in more water because every time we get to 1k again like, give me water because my body was getting dehydrated and my glycogen level was depleting and you know my body just getting tired quick because the sun was just draining everything in me and it's almost like when you're watching these cartoons you see the people just drying up right away and that's how it felt you know so we got the 30 kilometers and my body burning up and instead of me drinking water I was throwing the water on my body to cool it down end the story I make it to 37 kilometers we in the uh, on the road with nothing, no shops to buy water, just road and grass, that's it. Not even place for shade. So my body went into shock, not that big. You know, when your body already settled down, you, you can relax the same day you finish running. But it's not until the next day when your body already adjusted and, you know, it already cooled down and everything get back into place and your body's like, yeah, you think I forgot about yesterday? No, here we go. So whole body has shut down. I took off two days. I thought I was gonna recover. Took my vitamins. You know, I rested, hydrated, and you know, I did all this stuff to try see if my body could recover. It didn't. So uh, it just continued to, to, to get weaker and weaker and weaker. And I noticed that I would show you all what I would do like in certain workouts. Even those workouts, half of the workouts, I could not do. Even with the times, the times, I, I'll give you an example. Say I'll do the last time I did uh, 21K in like 351. Okay, I can even do that. 410, 420 hurting right now. And I and like when I reach 5K, I'm already tired. So in the back of my mind, I said, hey, let me just take off a couple more days to rest. But I, I don't want to take it off because the race is so close. February is next month, you know. So I don't want to uh, let my body be... You know rested uh, be lethargic you know because once your muscles start to rest and your whole body will rest and then your body go back into being the, the lazy mode but I continue to do 10k 15k sometimes even 20k but the body is really hurting right now but is in good shape but I, I think I, I shocked it by running in the Sun you know and running for such a long distance in the Sun and not stopping when I should have stopped during the, the long run but it's okay it's a learning experience hopefully by next week uh, i'll be back the way i was and we'll be back rolling and getting prepared to, to qualify for olympic because i feel uh that i i have a good chance and I, i've been running crazy times not crazy times but doing some really good training to the you know to gauge myself to see where i'm at you know and it's been looking good but you have some um road bumps anyone could tell you any way you go to succeed in anything is, is most of the times is not straightforward. Sometimes you got corners you got to peek through. Sometimes you got portals you got to jump over. You know, there's it's a lot of stuff you got to put, you know, in, in front of you. Not you got to put, but you see stuff in the front of you and you got to try to move away from, not move away, move over it or get past it, you know. So that's something that I wanted to talk about and I just want to let you all know things are going well. Things are going nice. I, I like how it's going, but you know, yes, I need to get my body um, back the way it was. And if you all get any um, ideas on what I need to do, just send me a you know, send me uh, a little comment under the video because I need it. I, I need to figure out how to get my my energy level back. It's just that I, my energy feel low, like I zapped everything. Soup, everything just got zapped. Anyhow, going back, a couple things I like to to, to let y'all know uh, kind of affect me. Uh, I had uh, some tragic news, uh, well, two 
uh, two family members passed away um, in October. My, my first cousin, uh, she's younger than me. She's like 34, 35. Her name is Raquel Williams. You know, she passed away, uh, uh, I think it was, um, she had complications with, you know, um, <sighs> stress. I, I think she had um, ulcers, you know, and, uh, you know, stress brings out a lot of disease and she, she abruptly just passed away and she, she's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. So it took me by surprise and she was such a young lady. She's full of life. She has two kids. And if you if you met her, you you would love her. Anyone would love her, you know. And she passed away, and yeah, it, it got me. Also, for people who know me, they know I I I, I know the Curtises, Mrs. Miss Miss and Mrs. Curtis, you know. And they they have been like real good friends to me while I was in Kenya, while I was in the Bahamas, while I traveled to the U.S. You know, they just they are good people, and. It is sad that just a few weeks ago, Mr. Curtis, the, the, the backbone of the Curtis family, he passed away um, just two days before Christmas also. You know, I, I got the news um, a, da, a day after he passed away. Um, not from Mrs. Curtis. Me, me and Mrs. Curtis, we are tight. They consider me a part of the family. I'm actually their, their, their son's uh, uncle, you know. So uh, they, I'm an honorary family member. So, yeah, that, that really that really come uh, as a shock, you know. So, some of the things that just make you think about life, you know, is it's it's it just it's just tricky and is a lot of things are unexpected and you you like I said before you have a lot of stuff that comes at you and you don't be prepared for it. So, you know, cherish the people that you with, you know, uh, love them, tell them that you love them. People, when I, when I say I love somebody, people are always thinking that I have like, you know, I have this like, uh, this emotional, like feminine type of uh, mentality. No, that's just me. I, I love telling people that I love them. I don't know. I, I just feel that, hey, we are all connected and I want you to know how I feel about you. And I'm manly, but I, I'll tell you. But th those are the things that, uh, you know, make you think a lot because life is so unexpected. You could go at any minute. Anytime, you know, you, I could be talking to you right now, talking about YouTube video, and I'm gone, you know. So cherish your people that you're with. Uh, make sure you tell them that you love them and you appreciate that they're there for you. And, you know, just embrace them sometimes. Because life, you don't know, you don't know that, hey, tomorrow, O'Neal was just talking about, hey, he's going to do this and he's going to da, da, do that. And now O'Neal is gone. You know what I mean? So... O'Neal is, is an okay person. I'm not, I'm, I might not be the best person in the world, but I I cherish people who I who I be around, and anyone could tell you that. I'm, I I might be ha uh, hard on some people because they some people need to be hard on, but most of my family members, not most, all my family members, know that I'm a person who who shows a lot of love, a lot of uh, uh, care, and even uh, if it's my last, I'll do for whoever it is. You know that that. That I I'm, I I show that that, that deep rooted you know feelings for, trust me I'm that type of I'm that type of guy you know I talked to my coach the other day uh, my coach Wilson being and he is he is, he's like O'Neal uh, you need to start giving me stuff because if it's your last you just get away I say I say look yeah coach that's just the type of character I am you know that's my characteristic if I feel that hey. This person's in the knee and he's sincere or she's sincere or they're sincere. That's me. You know, life goes on. Uh, so maybe someday they'll come back uh, and it'll be my turn. Someone will help me out with their loss, you know. But going forward, uh, la, la, going forward, I'll let y'all guys um, in on more of my videos. I love doing this stuff. It might not be paying, you know. Honestly, it's not paying. Uh, but if y'all like something like this me giving you all the inside of everything i'm doing and i'm going to put up clips trust me the, the video is not going to be just about me talking i have videos where i'm running i have videos where i'm on the ground laying down because the run was so hard i have videos interacting with people i have a lot of videos but it just uh a lot of things uh come into place and they they, they distract me and i i just sideline the videos and moving forward 
y'all gonna know a lot more y'all gonna see a lot more we gonna try get to this olympic games twenty twenty one we gonna represent our country uh... we gonna let my friends and family gonna see all around the world not just in the bahamas you know because uh... i i feel like the bahamas is my home but i have family members all around the world now kenyan family i got ugandan family i got family in europe i got family in the u.s definitely i got family in the caribbean so i got family all, all around the world and i and i'm just saying i i want everyone to take this journey with me starting the day i'm gonna try to put up video even two videos once a day or twice a day doesn't matter to me right now right now i'm i'm gonna be glued to the camera and i want y'all guys um, to tune in this is gonna be something i'm gonna do just just to let y'all know hey i i i haven't forgot y'all i know i have a channel i haven't uploaded a lot but today is gonna be a change this is my new year's this is my new year's resolution to you guys i love you guys and like i said if you like the content i'm making you can comment at the bottom of the video let me know what you like about the video just just say something hey o'neill how you doing like the video share the video and guys just you know be patient with me love you guys and happy new year again 2021 and beyond uh.